Hey everybody, I tell you what, we are heading to Minnesota with our good friend Phil the Blind Guy. And we're actually going up to Lake Winnebagosh. I've fished a lot of lakes in Minnesota, but never Winnebagosh. We're gonna be doing a lot of perch fishing, some crappie, bluegill, bass fishing, walleyes, northerns, really multi-species. But I'm gonna take a bunch of crawlers up there with me. And I'll tell you what, the key to keeping crawlers is having great worm bedding and a good thing to put them in. And these Starfoam coolers here by Magic Products is awesome. It's kind of nice when you buy these because automatically right away you get the bedding and very important to have the worm food too. I'm not gonna fill it all the way right away. And I'm gonna put an ice pack in here too. So what I do, put a little bit of water. Mix it up a little bit. Definitely, you don't want it soaking wet, but you want it nice and damp. That's definitely the key right there. So what I'll do is I'll actually rinse my crawlers off. I put them in a, a strainer, rinsing all the mud off them. Okay, let them soak down. Basically, just kind of throw them up on top. And what you'll see is them crawlers in about 10 minutes will work their way into that bedding. This really works out good. Put a little, put a little ice in there, but I'm also I'm gonna wait now before I put the worm food in there, is I'll wait till the crawlers work their way down and uh, put that in there. And you can see how kind of how skinny some of these are right now, but I'll guarantee you by tomorrow morning, after putting this food in there, from the worm food in there, it will be fat and sassy. <laughs> man put them in bud oh that's a nice crappie oh, there we go buddy wow All what a right. great way to start the morning off hey i'll tell you what everybody we're up on the one and only great winnebagosh here in minnesota you know what dan this is a great crappie body of water too hey beautiful crappie body of water you guys do your family vacation up here basically your dad and yourself and and how long has nolan been actually coming up here so the first time he came up, he was only five weeks old, <laughs> um, and he's been coming up ever since. Oh, that that is absolutely awesome. Yep. Again, I think of Minnesota as you know, big muskies, big walleyes, but the pan fishing is absolutely fantastic too. Oh, absolutely. The last uh, ten years, the bluegills and crappies have really, really started to make a comeback. Um, in fact, we're getting tens and eleven-inch bluegills, which is oh, them are unheard giants. of. You know, and just last night we were catching 12 to 14 inch crappies. So. I saw that, so. kind of like any type of fishing, you're really just being versatile and moving a lot is the key. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we tried a couple different spots this morning and we were just driving along and Larry said, oh, I think I see some here. So we stopped and first cast and only got it. So. All right, let's hopefully this is a start of something really yep. good. All nice right. job, guys. Good job, No. Got him. Got him. Oh, there you go, No. Nice job, No. Good job, No. Hey, hey, what? Noli, a perch nice now. Perch, buddy. Dude, you are on fire. There you go, Phil. All right. Off. I'll get it off for you, Phil. Mm -hmm. I do a long hook set to get this lack of mm. Hey, I'll tell you what, yep. it is fast and furious now. Dudes, what do you guys got going on up there? Oh, Holy nice man. There. Woo, hold that one up, Danny. Hey, the bass fishing out here also is really good, Un too. Unbelievable. Over the last five years, um, went from catching maybe one or two when you go out to a 53 day largemouth day. That's you know? pretty awesome. Hey, so let's, uh, everybody, we're back out here this afternoon doing a little bass fishing. Got the guys from the resort, and let's tell everybody who we have here. My name's Mac Morgan. I'm from Iowa, and I'm up here on vacation. Well, my birthday is in a month, but Lee got me an early birthday present. He did? What yeah. did Lee get you, a brand new rod? He got me a brand new rod, yeah. So I'm, I'm using that today, and hopefully I can catch some big ones. That's awesome. And tell everybody what we're fishing for. We're fishing for largemouth bass. I'm using the Texas rig. Uh, so Texas rig is a bullet weight. 
and you hook it through the head and slide it up top. Okay. And you rotate it, hook it through the bait and pull it through. And you can bury the hook in there too. Okay. So make it completely weedless. I'm Lee Parrington. Uh, I am the owner of Cutfoot Sewer Resort Sun. So, um, and I do my own little guide service business, the boys at Cutfoot Guide Service. That's on awesome. Lake Winnebagosh. And so, how long have you been guiding? Uh, this is my second year. Okay. What got you into guiding? Why'd you want to become a guide? Um, well, I like to fish a lot, and um, I don't know, I was out fishing one day, and I was catching a whole bunch of fish, and these people, just, just random off-the-road people, stopped in the lodge and asked me if uh, I could show them out, take them out, and they'd pay me, and, and I did that, and we caught a whole bunch of fish, and we had a great time. I mean, we did, and I just fell in love after that, and started doing it weekly, and... Oh, Nolan! What do you got there? Oh, dude, that's a good one. Woohoo! On the swim bait. Don't wind them all the way up, man. There you go. Nice job. All right, dude. Man, how big is that fish? Oh, man, that's a nice one. Don't break the rod tip, dude. Yep, there you go. Oh, he's hooked in one of your other lines there. Woo, nice. Hold on to that one. Gotcha, Mac. Woo! Mac, number two for you. Oh, yeah. Nice job, dude. Nice fish Not right bad. there. Gotta love it, man. Oh, yeah. Mac, what do you got going there? Is that thing in the weeds? Yeah. Or? Oh, oh no, come on, button, dude. No. Oh, dude. What happened? I had a big one. Oh. Huge one. Hey everybody, welcome to our Leroy lunchtime and today we have got quite the lunch cooking up for these kids. We've got some fresh brats from Leroy Meats along with some ground beef patties and I'll tell you, if there's anything that is really good for you to have during the summer, it's definitely some fresh brats or burgers. Hey everybody, we want to thank our good friends over at Leroy's Meats in Horicon and in Fox Lake for donating this food today for these kids. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any better. Hey, let's get this stuff on and see how these kids like it. Hey Mark, I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable how these kids are shooting out there. I mean, all of them shot out to a thousand yards and were accurately hitting that plate out there. I mean, that that's incredible. How many of these kids are gonna take this up as a hobby? Right, right, and that's what we're, our intent to do here is, is to, to bring them new shooters in. And when you start them at a young age, you can, you can develop fundamentals. Um, Fundamentals are, are very key, and you're seeing those kids grab onto those fundamentals. We're teaching them today right away. Um, proper proper uh, setup behind the gun, proper form, getting their eye in that scope, being able to concentrate on that reticle in there, finding that target. Be, making that a basically routine to them is gonna make them better shooters. And it's really easy with kids um, because they don't have that experience. Guys like you and me, we've all got that idea in our head that we've already got this figured out so it's a little tougher with adults but you can do it but when we can get them at this age you can make them excellent shooters in a hurry yeah, yeah. and obviously we've seen that already yeah. today out there again yeah. just the consistency i was surprised you know we started at 100 yards and how fast it went and they were shooting at seven eight nine, nine. and then of course the grand finale a thousand yards to see that young man out there shooting a 223 at a thousand yards i didn't even know a 223 win a thousand yards <laughs> a 223 can go a thousand yards and i've been doing this for years and i have struggled 
a lot to get them to go to two, uh, 223 to go to 1,000. And, boy, this kid, he's just knocking it out of the park. <laughs> he certainly he is. is. And But he's got good form there again, good form, good fundamentals. He's concentrating on what he's doing. Uh, he's not paying attention to what everybody else is doing and just focused. And that's what it takes. You've got to have that focus. You know, it's very interesting, too, to see these kids how respectful they are with these firearms too. I mean, oh, that, I'm simply uh, uh, impressed with that fact of it too. Yeah, they've been really good. You know, obviously I did a little speech this morning, kind of gave them what the lowdown was and we went over firearm safety, keeping guns pointed in the right directions. And you know, we are intending to shoot targets and we don't want things going wrong. Um, and boy, they picked it right up. They were very responsive to that. Yeah, yeah. you know, and it's interesting when you start thinking about like, these kids at this age, how good they're actually listening. And you know, every time that somebody had said something, I mean, they were like, you didn't have to say it twice. They were yep. tuned right in. So again, very respectful of the firearms. It's something that you definitely know that they wanted to be here and they wanted to do for sure. Yeah, the shooters on my end of the platform were great. I'd say, okay, this is what we want to do. Man, they were ready to make an adjustment, do what they had to do. They were, no, there was no complaints. You know, that concentration makes a big difference. That kind of, it really does. I would agree 100%. Let's tell everybody a little bit about what you actually, what you've got going yourself. So as far as the point of impact school, we train uh, shooters in different aspects. Our basic, uh, basic class starts out as an introductory to long range shooting and it's also paired with a hunting platform. So we get you on the long range, we uh, get you the fundamentals, we teach you about using your scopes to make adjustments, whether it's MOA, whether it's Meridians, however, you, however your platform's set up. We take you in a classroom for that, then we get you on the range and we apply all that. Now, I have two different kinds of shooters, guys that are introductory guys to long range shooting, and that's what they want to do. They want to hit steel, punch paper, that's all they want to do. I got other guys that we do a lot of stuff for that are going on a out west hunting trip or a trip of a lifetime, or even just, just want to know more about for hunting locally. And what we can do is get all that data and all that information to them and get them confident doing that, and then they can take it from there. Okay. And we'll also, if you want to take it to the next step, if you're thinking you want to go towards like a PRS type deal or something, we have elevations of classes that we can... Some advancement we, classes. Some advancement classes that we can do also. They can uh, get on our website. It's uh, www.pointofimpactllc.com. You can go right on there. You can register for a class. Um, you can call me on, uh, on my phone, which is 563-380-3451, and that's listed on the website also. Um, send me an email through the through the website. Uh, we can communicate however works for you. We have a great class. It's a very affordable class. Um, we'll, we can even help you with lodging locally if you're coming from a long distance. We have no problem with that. So anything you need to do, we can help you out. That's awesome. Hey Mark, I appreciate you having us out uh, here. Today. Hey, today we've got Angela from Dalco here. And Angela, I'll tell you what, this is definitely a great product. And you have done a ton of research on this seat as far as what the options are that fishermen are looking for, or just regular boaters in general. So let's kind of go over some of the things that you really have, the research you've done that you've found out what people are looking for as far as what kind of ride that they want. Absolutely, Larry. So one of the things that we do when we launch new products is we try to identify pain points that users um, of these products would have. And one of those issues is either um, fishermen that have boat back already from riding rough, rough waters and getting injuries, mm -hmm. or they know a buddy that might have boat back from an injury and they want to prevent that. Right. Whether you've got that boat back already or if you're knowing a buddy that does and you want to prevent that and keep your time in the water more enjoyable. You get a chance to talk to a lot of professional bass people. I know you've got Ott is on your pro staff. Yep. And you know what, when you start finding out and talking to these guys, you know, bass fishermen really don't, again, have that option to have these higher pedestals underneath them and to use their legs for a support. Absolutely. So this is like a product that is definitely a must for every bass boat. Absolutely, for any type of fisherman, but for a bass fisherman and the position that you're seated in when you're running, um, running out on the water, having that ability to engage your back and have support on your back is, is essential. I would agree on that. You know, and the other really cool part about this 
versus a lot of other products that I've seen out there. It's so easily to adjust it to the weight of the person. So Angela, if somebody's looking for this type of product, which I'm sure they're going to be, how can they get a hold of, or I should say, what do they need to look for and where? Absolutely, delcamarine.com forward slash cruise air. I'll tell you what, everybody, you definitely want to check out this new cruise air product. It is another great invention by Delco. So give it a shot. So what kind of speed are you looking for? One, no, 1.1, 1. 1, 1. 1.2? We were at 1.2. Yeah, 1. you want to stay right around one mile an hour. You want to get your blade spinning. Okay. So at 0. 0.5, 0. 0.7, like when you're jigging, that blade, if you look, is just sitting there. It won't even, it won't even turn. Right. So when you're going faster, I you can tell, but you watch the end of your pole. That's how you tell you're going the right speed. You're, you you're, see that little thump, thump, yep. thump, 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 huh? Well, yeah, one mile an hour, it's like when you're rat fishing. You guys do a lot of that in Wisconsin? Yeah, we do. So out here, we actually do that a lot at night. So this is a night fishery too, huh? Now with the zebra mussels? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's so clear. Right. What made you decide to buy a resort? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's not hard work. It's busy work. We actually both grew up working at resorts and we, we had always said we would never own one. It took us a year before we actually bought the resort. Okay, and just researching. We, we met with the owners and said, you know, we're really thinking about buying a resort. And they're like, and why would you want to do that? And I said, because we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. The part that I didn't quite understand, even though we both grew up working at resorts and doing that our, our whole lives, is your customers actually become part of your family. And so each week has a different personality and each week you look forward to something because you know who's coming and what the personality is going to be. And so it, every summer now it seems like it keeps going faster and faster because now we know more of our guests, we know our customers. Right. And you look forward to seeing these people for certain reasons each week. Well that certainly did not take long at all. It really is a, a multi-species fishery from any type of panfish you want to bass fishing, to muskies, to northerns, to of course walleyes. That's our fish right there for sure. Right there. And I'm sure a lot of the techniques and stuff have changed over the years with the zebra mussels too, huh? And you're talking before about it's good build on that fish right there. Now let's let's talk a little bit again about what the size limit is out here on Winnie on walleyes. The slot for this lake is 18 to 23, so anything in the 18 to 23 has to be immediately released. Okay. One fish over 18 per license, or over 23 I mean, oh, yep. per license individual. Otherwise, um, there is no minimum. We prefer not to keep, you know, a little 12 inch. Right, cigar, try so. to get them to 14 and up. Yeah. Go. Yay! Yay! Mike, Billy, yo, got the biggest fish so far. Pikeroni. Yeah, I see what you mean. Not too bad, one. Yep, nice and fat. <laughs> yep. Yep. Wait a, a minute, one. who are you talking about? Right. <laughs> there's rocks on this point, and around the corner there's weeds. Okay. Bright cabbage. And that's what we'll, we'll be fishing. Need them retrieve. I'll be throwing a lot of jerk baits. Okay. And um, I might try with the top water real quick this morning and see if anything comes up on top. All right, sounds awesome. They are very aggressive. You, you wonder if he's just like thinking it's one of his buddies and he's gonna just nip at them. And them are the worst ones right there as yep. far as getting hooked. Got your players? Yep. Them pike, they have so much energy in them. Fish. That's a good one. Oh, he ain't oh, that big. He's but... still a good one. Woo, did he bury himself in them wow. weeds. Wow. Woo. Pull that one up. That's a chunky fish right there. Nice job on that. Woo! Loving it. 
Hey everybody, I'll tell you what, what an amazing couple days we had. You know, we've never been up to fish this area before, and the reason this all came about is because of our good friend Dan here. Hey, I'll tell you Dan, you know what, the best thing that I ever did was start planting trees because that's how exactly how I met you. The cool part, and it was really kind of neat to listen to Bill this morning, talk about, you know what, it's not always about catching a bazillion fish, it's really about all the friends we just made on this trip. Absolutely. And that was absolutely awesome. Hey, Amy, you know what, let's talk a little bit about Cutfoot. You are the owner of this resort. Yeah, so it's a pleasure to be able to host everybody that uh, comes and stays with us. The way people are able to contact us is you can uh, uh, find us on our website, which is at uh, www.cutfootsueresort.com. Uh, we are also very active on Facebook as well, and we do a lot of uh, media posts. Um, one other way people are able to get a hold of us is uh, calling uh, our phone number too, which is 218-246-8706, and uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you. Hey, if you want a great experience for your family and your friends, definitely give them a call. Hey, everybody, we really appreciate you watching our show this week. And like we always say at the end of the show, and it means so much to us, remember, be proud to be an American, and it always is a great day to be alive. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. I think the sun is getting to you. Hey, man, I want to thank oh. you. In 1960, that was the first guest here. <laughs>